Hello YouTube friends, this is my review for Fallout 4. This game is wonderful. Yes, it has its flaws, but what game does not have flaws? I first played this game on Xbox when it first came out. I enjoyed it. I finished it. I had a blast with it back then. But I played it on PC. I didn't finish it until the new NVIDIA app came out. That's why it looks honestly a lot better. You can see the textures and whatnot. Like, and it's all because of the game filter. I used Sharpen Plus and it made the game just pop. This is this was a non modded run because I wanted to get achievements, which you know, reasons. But it made the game feel fresh. Like it was brand new. Like it had just released. I might have encountered some bugs. I if I did I didn't notice them. Or if I did I did not I don't remember. I mean it's been a couple weeks since I played, so I mean I mean, you know, I can't remember that far back. But I played what I feel was the actual story. And I think it was good. Back then I didn't actually finish the game. I thought I did when I played it on Xbox, but apparently I didn't. So I did not know there was more to the game back then. So this time I feel like I officially finished it. I did not do the DLCs. I might in the future, but I was honestly getting tired of playing it. I wanted to move on and do something else. Because I have a ton of games in my backlog on my PC to play. But my rating score for this game, I would honestly rate it without the new NVIDIA filters. It would be a 6.5. And, and that would be a score that I would have given it when it first came out. Because of the bugs it has. Or what bugs it had back then. Those bugs might be fixed. I don't know. Because you know how Bethesda is. It just works. But with the new NVIDIA filters. The Sharpen X. I tried other filters as well. What are you trying to load you silly game? Good lord. I mean you computer. But with the new Sharpen Plus filter, and that's the only one I could use, if I used any other form of Sharpen filter, it put like a, like a staticky felt phase, or, or um, fuzz on, on like the sky and lights. Even the Sharpen Plus did that too. I mean, it's, the new NVIDIA app, I think is still in beta. But regardless of it being in beta, it it boosts it boosts the rating from a six and a half to like a seven. But it's not much of a boost because again it's a Bethesda game. They're buggy as heck. And it's only higher because of it makes the game look better. <coughs> Do I recommend Fallout 4? Oh hell yeah. It's a blast. It was my first official Fallout game ever. I did try Fallout 3 in the past for like 30 minutes. I didn't care for it. No, I have not played it on PC. I might one day. Or I'm holding out until the potential remaster or remake of it. Hopefully in Force Engine. Or whatever engine version they're using for 76. Same for 1 and 2. I want to play them. But 
I want console controls for both of them. But again, I recommend trying it if you have never played a Fallout game before. It is a blast. You can customize your weapons, your armors. There's infinite levels. So unlike in, if you've played 3, I do know this from 3, because I've seen my friend beat it like 3 times in one day. I'm not kidding. He knew the game from the back of his hand. There's 20 levels in 3. In this one, there's infinite levels. You can get all the skills, and yeah. So, I want more of that in future games. And... If they do a, a remake of 3 and 1 and 2, I want infinite levels. Again, because it works. It makes the game better. You have more freedom. But this has been my review on Fallout 4. It may not be the best review. I don't care. But I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.